What's going on guys, Flickify here, back again with another Kaiser Slide and Kurumud episode, and today is the season finale of the first season. I will be doing a second season because you guys have been leaving some great comments asking me to do so. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a big episode, four matches, and the first match, look who we have it against, 1860 Munich. And just to show you guys the importance of this match, here's the league table. We are just four points or five points shy of 1860 Munich. So if we can get a win, that means we're going to be only two points shy. And that means we are contenders for top of the table. So this is a huge match. And if you guys did enjoy this first season at all, be sure to leave a like on the video, show your support. Let's get underway here. All right, first match of the episode. I'm so ready for this match. And I think it's going to be a good one. Close him down, close him down. No. Oh, just wide. Ah. Defend the cross. Oh, no, he finessed it. They almost always cross it in that scenario. Oh, go on, Witzel. Come on, Witzel. Oh. Yes. They pretty much just gifted me a goal right there, passing it right to Lakic, who just volleyed it in. Oh, great pass by Witzel. Oh, man, he just could have gotten a touch. Please don't let him score off this. Just clear it. Just clear it. Thank you. No. No. Oh. No. Here we go, Matt Moore. One big touch and send in the cross. Big Oceon gets subbed on, gets a goal. That is just the story of him in this career mode. Well, what a match that was. Really showing why we are the first and second place team and coming to an even 2-2 draw. All right, we got a match against Frankfurt right here. Let's see how they're doing in the league table and how Cone is doing since they are right on our tail and they just had a 4-0 victory against their opponent. And uh, as you can see, Dusseldorf, Cone all have just pretty much overtaken us, but Dusseldorf does have a game up. So if we get a win, I think we'll be all right. Have a crack. Yes, what a finish. Who was that? Callum Chambers coming out of nowhere and just getting a beautiful goal right there. Defend the cross right here. Nicely done. Great clearance. Yes, great play right there. Uh, open goal. Open goal. Chip him. Yes. What a finish. What a finish right there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, great bit of play by the team. We are just doing so well defensively as a unit. Ah, they get one there. They're going to cut the lead in half. It's still 2-1, so we still have the lead, but we have to be careful now. Great victory there against Frankfurt with the 2-1 win off a couple of nice goals from Gus. And, uh, yeah, let's just keep moving on. Two matches left in the season. Let's see if we can finish first. All right, big match here against Köln. This is going to be crucial if we want to get promoted to the Bundesliga next season because they are right on our tail. It's a good one-two play. We got our Loa, Loa with the cross right here. Can we get it? Ring is going to keep possession. Send another cross. Oh, what a save. Jensen's going to play it through to Lakic. He's going to get onto it. Good job creating some space. And it has to go. Oh, just saved. Oh, yes, what a header. Beautiful header from that guy. Who was it? Hines, the center back. Great job by him. 
Jensen's going to play this one through to Zoller. That's a great ball. A little bit of space here. Can he finish it? Yes. Oh, I thought that went in. All right, nothing on the corner kick right here. We just got to defend this well. It's a good corner, though. Just wide. Ah, uh, no. Please get there. Please be off. He's off. Thank goodness. That was so close. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know if that's offsides or not. Looks like he's on, but whatever. We'll take it. Oh, great steal by Ede. He's got some space. It's going to fall to Lakic. Oh, just wide. Just tipped wide. Get ahead on that one. Yes. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. A 2 0 lead. Oh, great ball right there. Who got Stoger on the ball? Easy header by Ocean. That's going to make it three. Oh, please don't concede right here. Great save by Sipple. And a good clearance by the defense. All right, we get a 3-0 win there against Köln. And according to the game commentary, we've just been promoted to the Bundesliga. That's a huge achievement for the team, but we still got one game left in the season. Let's finish the season out with a win. All right, guys, for some reason, the last game was not recorded, but it really didn't matter at all. We won 3-0 regardless. So we're in the second season right now, and I want to show you guys my team as well as my budget. And I want you guys to leave some comments on who you think I should sign. I think we definitely need some work at the center defensive mid position, but I'll leave it up to you guys. So let's get underway here with the squad. And we have a couple players back from loan. And here's Sipple. Of course, he's going to finish out the remaining of his contract with us. Callum Chambers on the right back. Hines, Ake at the center backs, DeAndre Yellen at the left back. Jensen, we're going to keep him there at the CDM because he's so good. Carl, I think, needs some replacing. Nabry has grown so well. Zoller, of course, he's the main man from last season. Decided to give Goss the start at the left mid. And this guy we got back from loan, he looks pretty good. He's also six foot three with four star weak foot, three star skills. So he looks really good. And he's pretty young with 24. For themselves, we have our backup keeper, really Orban. Uh, Stoger, Witzel, he's our youth player that we managed to sign. Look at that, five-star weak foot, four-star skills, really promising stuff there. Matt Moore, of course, was a nice backup player. Fortunus is back from injury, and we got Lokic there to round out the team. I might be selling him because he is 30 years old, and he was a big goal scorer for us last year, and I can get some decent money for him. So let me know what you think on that, and let's jump into the squad report. You guys wanted me to show the physical attributes instead of that other screen, so we can do that right here. And here is the squad report, Callum Chambers. And I'm just not going to go over every single player, but as you can see, a lot of good form and pretty happy. Navri's already gone up plus one, which is good to see. He's just grown like an absolute animal. This guy's gone up plus one as well. And uh, we just have a couple of players that are doing so, so well throughout this season. And I'm so happy with how we did in the first season. Of course, the board was happy with how we finished. Um, they told me that they expect... They expected the, us to finish mid-table, but we, of course, got second place, which is pretty dang good, if I do say so myself. And they were happy with the cup as well. Um, and I haven't gotten any emails yet about how they want me to finish this season, so I'll probably be showing that in the next episode if I do get an email. Um, but I guess I can show you guys the transfer list as well, because I am thinking about selling a couple players, mainly that are particularly the older ones. Uh, right now, I have Alushi, Azog, and Dick lifted up and hopefully we can sell them and as you can see right there we have 4.4 for the transfer budget and 20,000 left on the remaining wage budget so be sure to leave some players in the comments that you want me to sign and I'll be seeing you guys for the start of season two